Well, maybe one related question. Do you sometimes feel like knowing all of this stuff limits you? Like when you're writing a song? Because I... Yeah, somehow I... I feel like when you know the rules, you play by them, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, I have other songs too, I'll show you what I'm talking about. one that I wrote that kind of goes against my rules. still working on it, it's not done yet. <laughs> but yeah, that kind of goes against um, the rules, in my opinion. It, 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 what I feel like are rules for me in terms of music. I like to stick to the major scale or the minor scale, but that's kind of weird. It changes keys and there's a lot of dissonance and some weird modulation in there. Um, but I thought of that stuff in terms of analysis, in terms of calling it what I just called it, way after I wrote it. I was just in it was really in it and then in the midst of it and then at the end I said okay what what is happening there and I kind of analyzed it after I, after I played it so to answer your question no it doesn't limit you but even if it did limit you limits are not always a bad thing yeah yeah um, cool wow I didn't anticipate to be um, <laughs> answering questions about my songwriting process but that's that's like that's pretty cool um, yeah yeah uh, any last questions or? Uh, maybe if I could ask about uh, the rhythm, the yeah. shuffle sure. thingy. Uh huh. Um, how can? Uh, could you play it, please? Uh, sure, sure. Um, I'm in this weird tuning, but. Possible? Well, you know, you're a little kid and you're skipping along. That's where we got it, I, I think. <laughs> or, you know, uh, sailors, they make up songs and some of them have a lilt to it. In Ireland, you know, you have traditional music that has kind of a, a lilt. And what they mean by lilt is like, it's kind of this kind of interesting cadence to it, you know. Um, there's, uh, uh, yeah, as many ways as people walk. Uh, there are different kind of uh, slants on rhythm. If you listen to hip hop drummers, they play with the beat a little bit differently than rock drummers. And rock drummers, even amongst each of those big genres, they, they have sub subcategories of people who play kind of on top or very kind of ahead of the beat or laid back or deep in the pocket. There's like all sorts of really awesome, cool stuff that you can get into if you really um, go deep into rhythm. Um, but some are long and some are short because uh, uh, 
in this particular type of thing I'm playing, it's kind of like a bluesy progression. And that style originated um, with African American uh, slaves uh, playing Western instruments with kind of like African influence. And so there was like this hybridization happening. You, you can look at music theory, not just in rhythm, but in scales and in chords as actually a sort of evidence of things that change in musical history. You can see it. You can see that there's this thing where Mixolydian and Dorian are very similar to the blues scale. And at some point, they all start to intermingle. And these days, when you listen to contemporary blues music, you hear a lot of uh, switching between different modes. And the different modes are kind of emphasis, em emphasize the fact that um, there are different traditions of music suddenly confluenting, or <laughs> that's not a word, but some suddenly coming together, you know, and mixing. So, uh, becoming one big kind of melting pot, but there's still some distinct traces of where it came from. And so the shuffle rhythm is a trace from, from that, that uh, music tradition, blues music tradition. And it found its way into jazz. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good, good, good questions. Yeah. yeah, this is cool. Do you, do you have any questions? No, sir. No. For me, this is black magic. <laughs> Black <laughs> magic. Black <laughs> magic. We're <laughs> to hear from somebody who's really into this. Oh yeah, I, I'm kind of into music. I think. <laughs> really? Uh, a little bit. Well, no, maybe not. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is really cool. I mean, I wish I could stay here like forever and do this type of thing. Um, but um, this is a gift. I think that we're all here and just guys are hearing me talk about the stuff that I care about. This is like really cool for me. I, I appreciate you guys being here and listening and being so respectful. And uh, yeah, it's a shame more of the people who RSVP couldn't make it, but you know, um, I understand things come up. Um, but hopefully this will be valuable um, when we find a way to put it on YouTube. Um, I, think, I think we can call it a night, huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, uh, what's... Uh, Go bro notes, <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know what you just said, but <laughs> thank good, you. Good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Of course. Of course. <laughs>